Welcome to this video on ionic bonding. Take a look at the keywords we'll use in this video. So an ionic bond is a bond formed between a non-metal and a metal. Remember that atoms want to bond to get a full outer shell so they are stable, meaning two electrons in the first shell and eight in all the others. An ion is a charged particle. These are formed by atoms losing or gaining electrons. We know that atoms have protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons are positive and electrons are negative. Atoms have the same number of these, so the charges balance out, making them neutral. However, if we lose or gain electrons, we have an uneven balance of charges. This turns the atom into an ion. If the atom loses an electron, it has more protons than electrons, so it will be a positive ion. If the atom gains an electron, it has more electrons than protons, so the ion will be negative. Positive ions are called cations, and negative ions are called anions. Group 1 and 2 and 6 and 7 most readily form ions, as these are the most reactive groups. Metals don't have many electrons in their outer shell, so it's easier for them to lose these few electrons than to gain lots of electrons from other atoms. This means that metals would also lose a shell, meaning the atom becomes stable as the shell before it is already full. We can see here that lithium loses one electron in its outer shell. This makes the lithium ion positive as it has more protons than the electrons now that it has lost one. This means that metals form cations, so positive ions. Non-metals have very full outer shells, so it's easier for them to gain a few electrons than to lose lots. This means that non-metals gain electrons, making them negatively charged, so anions. We can sum this up to say that group 1 elements form plus 1 ions as they lose an electron. Group 2 ions form plus 2 ions as they lose 2 electrons. Group 6 elements form negative 2 ions as they gain 2 electrons. And group 7 elements form negative 1 ions as they gain an electron. Here is an example of an ionic bond being formed. Oxygen needs 2 electrons to become stable. Each lithium atom can only lose 1, so oxygen bonds with 2 to get the full number of electrons it needs. This means that oxygen becomes negatively charged and the lithium atoms become positively charged. Holding the bonds together are strong electrostatic forces. These are forces between the positive and negative charges which attract. The structure ionic compounds form is called a giant ionic crystal lattice.